Hello. Hello. I was wondering if you could play my violin for me, please. Sure. Here you go. Thanks. Hello. I was wondering if you could please play my violin. Okay, sure. Hello, I was wondering if I could buy some rosin, please. For you, I'd probably recommend the Melos Light. Erin, while you're there, could you please play my violin? question. Um, why do you come in and just want me to play your violin? Oh, well, 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 every time you play my violin, it just sounds so much better. Oh, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, bye. See you next time. Goodbye. I know, that was a bit of a weird story. You know, this actually happened to my dad many years ago when he had his shop in Germany. I was still a small boy, but he actually had someone walk in and uh, ask him to play his violin. And then he just walked out. Exactly pretty much what happened. And uh, <clears throat> it really shows it does actually make a difference who plays the instrument. So you can... Um, so, or, or how you play an instrument. So you can actually have an effect on the sound of the instrument by how you play the instrument. And this is really important and it's good to know. So there are ways you can play your instrument that really free up the sound and there are ways you can play your instrument that they kind of close up the, the sound a little bit. So where's the difference? Like how how does the way you play affect the tone? Um, so the idea is to um, 
So a lot of people say that you play in an instrument, but I've also heard instruments that actually got tighter and tighter as people played them. Sometimes it's just the way someone bows or the way someone sounds. Other times, well, actually I have one client who plays in a metal band and he does all, of, all his distort just purely with the bow. <laughs> And he says that that has a big effect on the sound of the instrument. You couldn't, like after you, you know, play a few like heavy metal pieces, you couldn't actually use the instrument to do a classical concert or a baroque concert. you have to play the instrument a while to free it up and that's kind of how it works so if you want your instrument to sound better uh, play some nice big free sounds oh look the violin is here again did he really take it away or didn't he how bizarre mm. maybe it was all my imagination I don't know okay <laughs> So, um, so I guess if you if you're playing with a tight sound like or if you play with a more uh, more relaxed bow, like a really free sound. You can, you can actually have an effect on the sound. So play around with it sometime. It's really interesting. Uh, because in the end, you want to sound as big and free as possible for certain pieces. Or um, in other areas, you want to create a really quiet and timid or a, or a very gentle and soft tone. So there's all these different variations. But just remember that the way you play your instrument actually does affect the sound. And... Um, it's actually true that a lot of uh, soloists don't like lending out their instruments, especially not close to a concert, because what can happen is that the instrument comes back sounding slightly different. And that, you know, I mean, getting out and playing in front of one to two thousand people is it's a huge step out of the comfort zone. And even some of the most confident players um, will still probably feel some butterflies or they will feel a little bit nervous or they'll wonder how they come across. I mean, you know, they get better and better because you kind of get used to playing in front of bigger audiences. But still, it is so important that the instrument works to its at its best. I mean, there is a sneaky way you can get a solo's instrument and but you have to wait for a moment like this. <laughs> And then you can't really play it because you're just holding the strad and trying to put a E string on really quickly. So that's probably not the way to do it. But but really, um, it does. Like different people, when someone else plays your instrument, it will probably change the instrument. And I've heard of a lot of students or a lot of teachers who've said that their students actually give them their instruments to free them up a little bit and play them in. So yes, how you play an instrument will actually affect the tone. Yeah, just become aware of that when you're playing because that that can allow your instrument to have a bigger and freer tone. Um, anyway, um, don't come in tomorrow and ask me to play your violin. You can just do it yourself. Um, <laughs> so um, if you like the videos that I'm doing, make sure you press like and also press the subscribe button. That way you find out as soon as I post my next video. Yeah, and I'll see you soon. Bye. It's just perfect the way it is.